Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about enums in Python. Um, so first off, what is an, eno an enum? Uh, you can sort of think of it like a constant uh, value that we're going to that we're going to define uh, within the context of a class. In this case, we're using a class. So uh, from enum import enum, right? This is a, actually a built-in library, so you shouldn't have to. As long as you've got Python installed, this should work just fine. Uh, in this case, we'll have a class. Uh, we're going to have something that's going to inherit from enum. Uh, and uh, one example that you could use for you, just uh, as an example would be defining pieces like on a chessboard, for example. We could have a king is going to be one. We'll have a queen is going to be two. Uh, we'll have the uh, the rook be three, bishop be four, uh, knight be five because bishops are slightly more valuable than knights. Pawn is going to be one. I mean, it all depends on the on the situation, right? Um, okay, and then we have class, and we could have like another one that's piece value, right? And this is an enum. Okay. And we would do the same thing, right? King is going to be zero because there doesn't really have a value. Queen is going to be nine because it's the most valuable piece. The rook is going to be five, right? Um, and this is, these are all examples of what you could do with defining something like that. We could also have one for like color, right? Who's, what, what is the color of, uh, of a given piece? Um, so we could in fact have, uh, have something like a piece here and we're going to say that this piece is a piece dot uh, let's say queen and let's print the value of that piece okay so we'll so that's the value that's piece dot queen right so piece is piece dot queen now if we want to get out what this actual value is right so let's say dot value now we get back oh this is this is number two now what's really helpful here is um there there are multiple ways to access that right so we could in fact say something like piece uh piece dot Queen, right if we wanted to print what is piece dot queen uh, sorry piece dot queen man piece just does not look correct spelled there I, ju I just looked at the spelling of piece and it just doesn't look correct to me for some reason right now. Okay, so we've got the piece, uh, so we can see that's what piece.queen is. Um, and if we wanna see piece.queen.value, right, these, these are constant uh, values that are defined. And when I say constant, what I mean is it's not mutable. You can't change this value. Um, so for example, I could come in here and if I wanted to say uh, piece.queen is going to be five now, right um i cannot reassign the members right that's an attribute member basically by by making this an enum we know that later on down in our process we are not going to be able to change these things so when we reference the value or we reference we reference the the key i guess you could say um we'll know that those values have not changed which is why i sort of made reference they're kind of similar to tuples or tuples depending on how you want to say it i want to get into that um but depending on how but you can sort of think of it like tuples where once again a, a tuple you can't actually change the value in a in a tuple um so so there you go uh so in this case very quickly that's that's what uh that's what an enum would would be um i uh uh just recently started using these at at work actually i'd never used them before because i would just define a class and then uh, i would just make sure that i'd never change them um, but if you want to really enforce that they never actually change this is actually a much better way of doing it and would have saved me headache in in work before uh by being able to avoid that so uh there you go i hope this is uh, helpful hope this is valuable uh see you in the next video